All right, welcome back to another episode of Watch Dogs Legion. Time to find Abby Tran and make sure she doesn't broker any more deals. Yeah. I looked into this drug. It was developed for the military. In low doses, it heightens reflexes, lowers response times, turns soldiers into killing machines. Shit, it's even worse then. Instead of polluting the streets, they're going to turn their thugs into even bigger thugs. Family business. Initiate sequence. London, this is 404, the first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. All are welcome. If you want to make a difference, join us. We're taking down the elite, one contract at a time. I found that on the dark web. Looks like all the cool kids are forming hacker groups these days. But this 404 might actually come in handy in our fight. If all are welcome, that means we are too. I say we infiltrate 404, we get their connections, we get their assets. If you play nice, they might even help you take out Zero Day. For that matter, maybe they are Zero Day. Only one way to find out. I found Street View images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404 graffiti. They're marking their territory like an overexcited chihuahua. Negative. Dropping the location of the hub on your map. Over. You should be able to find Abby Tran somewhere nearby. Time to put an end to Abby Tran's dealings with Clan Kelly. Take her out. All I gotta do is kill her? Alright. Aw, oh, come on. Spider, you're going to be doing my job then. Where's my drone? Make it out the door. <coughs> they won't be hiding for long. This is what happens when you chase the spider. Open the door and finish the job. Tran won't be brokering any drug shipments in that state. Great work. Yeah, you're Grand right about that. On the verge of becoming a huge problem. You've saved lives by keeping it off the streets. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now the Kellys can't sell shit when there's no produce. <laughs> They'll be gutted. What's bad for them is good for the people. We're not done by a long shot. But this is a step in the right direction. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Ah, my bike. Damn it. <coughs> Alright, what else do we got on the job list? Clan Kelly. Alright, let's do out the Albion mission. 
down. Damn, he shot him. Gap in the armor. Does it tell me where? Yeah. Fast travel real quick. Team briefing! Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. As if it wasn't dodgy enough. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. Wait, why is it just voice? There used to be we video of this shit. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical <coughs> Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. But why London? Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. No shit, Sherlock. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellardi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellardi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. <coughs> it took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Alright. Alright, well how the hell do I get up there? <coughs> well, I didn't mean to do that. I was looking for a cargo drone. Nice. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bagley, have you noticed the windows up there? They seem suitable. Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Let's All right. How the hell am I losing drone signal? Alright. If I could find a cargo drone to do this, I would. Alright, so we just gotta head down into the right. Shouldn't be coughing into my hand, I know that. <coughs> there we go. Got to stay. Can this go any lower? No. Alright, that's it. Alright, then we go up. So that's the highest that'll go here. And then we go up here. 
And there's the cargo drone as soon as I needed it. Oh, perfect timing. Anyways. Jesus. You weren't joking about Hamish's affinity for traps? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Consider it done. Welcome to Claire and present danger, and welcome to fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. Mm. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. There we go. That. Unlock that. Look at that. <clears throat> Rotate that back over. Mm. All right, unlock that. There we go. There we go. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Much less likely, but still just as likely. <clears throat> okay. Geronimo! Oh. How dramatic. It's supposed to be... An, it's supposed to be a leap of faith from Assassin's Creed? It was a little bit more disappointing than I thought it would be. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go in. Hopefully he's in expecting me. Otherwise I'm dead. He's gonna open his front door to us. What are you doing here? Move! One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, all right, let's just think this through. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? I'm offended. Think more antithetically. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Oh, shit. Hold it! Albion knows you're in London, so don't kill me. Just run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, Cass is worse than you know. Obviously. Why else do you think I'm here? For a bloody chat? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Idiot. We want your help. We aren't with Cass. He's the bastard that's behind the bombings and tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, you think. Shit, fine. From table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. <coughs> Great. Wonderful. My operative is gonna fucking die. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Move it, move it! He's gonna hack the drone, ain't he? Where the fuck am I gonna. Oh. Shit. Don't just stand there. Albion won't be talking about who they see. Jesus Christ. Move into the hostile location. Okay, I'm not. No, please. Please. I don't wanna die. Control to all units. Suspect has acquired a boat. 
Oh, thank God. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I thought I was gonna die. On their way to the suspect. Where did they go? Shit. <coughs> All right. Thank God. Suspect is gone. Issue an APW. I don't know I how I managed to escape. Convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Oh, thank God. <coughs> I thought I, had, I was going to have another operative die. Like me, I'm dying right now. <coughs> Definitely dying. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Oh. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. All right, what is this? Oh, it's another, oh, it's another uh, mission right there. Anyway, so do that next time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please do a like down below. Then come to the video if you come to the and want to see more, share the notification. Anyways, catch you guys later. Peace. I am known by many names. Mountain Slayer, Thunder Lion, the Chocolate Ass. But you, you may call me Tiffany. Is there any more markers around that can stick up my ass?